Far Cry New Dawn is the final Platinum I need to get to have done all of them on the channel. Obviously you can't get one for Far Cry Classic and Far Cry 2 is now unobtainable, so we're now left with New Dawn. I've been asked for New Dawn a lot in the comments and I felt it's time I obliged. Set 17 years after the apocalyptic scenes of Far Cry 5, we're now in a world of rebuild. Vibrant Earth is blooming but not everything is going smoothly. Thanks to our NC Collective for the support as always and make sure to smash that like button guys, subscribe to the channel, I mean, what are you waiting for? Far Cry New Dawn starts like most Far Cry games, meeting the villain, or in this case, villains. New Dawns are evil twin sisters Mickey and Lou and their army called the Highwaymen. We're part of a scavenger group that's looking to erase the toxicity of Mickey and Lou from this brand new version of Hope County. We managed to escape our first encounter with Mickey and Lou and meet our first ally Carmina. Carmina and I work to get back to the home base known as Prosperity, but not before we craft our first weapon, the saw blade, and take it out for a whirl. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I don't mind that at all. Oh, he's punching her in the face. <laughs> oh god. This shouldn't be celebrated, should it? Real quickly. Boom. Oh, that's got a good sound. Punch. He hit me with the gun. That's right, sit down. E first trophy, the meaning of prosperity. Help Carmina get back to her mother in prosperity. Ah, oh, we can customize our guy finally. Grab a change of clothes. Okay, I'm not too concerned what I look like. I mean, who looks cool? He looks good. He looks good. Let's just go with the first one. No, it's boring, but... I mean, considering that's what I pretty much dress like normally, I feel like that should be the way to go. The plaid, but I'm going to go camo. I mean, I think we go camo. The handlebar moustache and some wrapped hand gear. Done! We then get a first look at the map. It shows our home base of prosperity, bases we need to take over from the highwaymen, and specialists we can recruit to aid us in our fight, not to mention give us some trophies. Like this guy for example, Bean. Bean can provide intel for us but requires us to complete his mission first. Woo! Wiki Bean here in business. There you go. Help Bean get back his business plan. There you go. He's back in uh, prosperity now so we can use him for whatever he's going to give us intel I imagine. Oh yeah, that, that felt good, that felt good. As we need to get specialists for trophies, we decide to go for a second straight away. Next is Celine. She needs us to recover her medical supplies and can offer plants for crafting once recruited. Deep dive completed. Coming up with the goods. There you go, Celine's valuable stash. There you go, she's now set up at... Come on, Roy Kill again. Do, 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 do. We also managed to rescue Timber, a specialist dog that can be used for spotting enemies. He's locked up and needs rescuing. No trophy for rescuing him, but there is one down the line, so we will need him. We then take over our first base. Once taken, you can salvage the bases and let the difficulty go up. Three tiers of this. Oh, oh okay. Arnold wouldn't run out of ammo that quick. In the knees, in the knees. Salvaging a base grants us ethanol and the trophy reduce, reuse, recycle. We then get a trophy for becoming Batman and throwing some smoke grenades. Before spotting an ethanol truck in need of a quick hijacking, deliver it back to the base for a trophy. Stealing an ethanol truck. Yeah, boy. Drive this back to a liberated outpost or to prosperity. Let's go. Exit vehicle. Here, white gold, boom, there you go. Commandeer an ethanol tanker and bring it back to one of your outposts. Quick, grab all the plants. Grab a plant. Ooh, got a trophy, forager. I'm assuming it's for grabbing 15 plants, not a lot. <laughs> That's a nice easy one. We then rescue Thomas Rush, the guy that pushed us, saving us from the sisters at the start. Bringing him back to prosperity allows us to upgrade the base in overall status. Upgrade the healing garden. Woo! Home is where the part is. Upgrade Prosperity's infrastructure for the first time. In the story, the twins catch wind of all the trouble you've been causing to the highwaymen. They decide to pay Prosperity a visit, threatening you all if you don't stop messing. Even threatening the kids. After defending the base, we get another story trophy. Prospering. Get lost, pal. 
My supply drop. Gimme, 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 gimme the supply drop. There's only one guy guarding it. Yeah, yoink. <laughs> Is that Steeler? Yeah, Steeler supp supply dropped. <laughs> While taking another base, we come across our first enforcer. These guys early on are a troubling feat. Later on, mm, not so much. Is that enforcer? I think it is. Boom! This enforcer is gonna get blown to shit. Blown to shit, son! How much health has he got? Oh my god, he's got a lot of health. I did not realize you'd have so much health, sir. Come on, come on, come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Nearly got him. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Got him! Oh my god. Captain's courageous. Kill your first enforcer. Mate, he is. They're tough. They are tough. And straight after we take the base, we speak to more scavengers with information. Gathering intel 10 times gives us the honorary scout trophy. Whilst driving around with Timber, we pick up a trophy for having him in a sidecar for five minutes, followed by a graceful return for picking up another specialist. The next set of trophies we get are from expeditions, completing seven expeditions three times each on progressively harder difficulties. Plenty of trophies tied in with this game mode, including Expeditious Retreat for completing an expedition, Have Buddy Will Travel for completing three expeditions with a co-op partner, and once you've finished all seven on all three difficulties, you'll be awarded Hit the Road. Whilst on the expedition, we crafted 10 medikits for a quick trophy, killed 10 brawlers with any saw launchers for buzzkill, we threw a shield like Captain America, killing five enemies for good job cap. We then craft three weapons for weaponsmith and kill an enforcer with a bayonet. That one is satisfying. In one of the expeditions, there's a delightful laptop in a crashed plane. Accessing the laptop gives us Sam Fisher's suit, which is highly satisfying and even better, gives us Paladin secret trophy. Finally, in this section, we kill our first monstrous animal for the kill or be killed trophy. There are four monstrous animals in the game. And finally, getting 25 takedowns of any kind for the bring a knife to a gunfight trophy. This whole section of the game and the expeditions were helped by Patreon and NC Collective great RitzyKiller125. The help was greatly appreciated here, so thank you very much, sir. Finally, we can pick the lock. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. Don't like these treasure hunts. A bit too complex for my liking. Oh, but we do get safekeeping, which is picklock five safe. Picklock five safes. With no more banks, it's the closest thing you'll get to experiencing a heist. One of the specialists is Nick Rye. There are a couple of trophies tied in with his flightless plane mission. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ah! Fly, you fools! Fly you fools, <laughs> got a trophy, what's that for? No wings means less drag, right? <laughs> oh man, all the Lord of the Rings fans right there. All right, let's park this baby up. Managed to get through, reunited them. There you go, Nick Rye. The reunion, there you go. That's for getting Kim and Nick back together. Okay, we're here to start. The new mission of New Eden. Looks proper ropey. Oh. Can you hear my voice? We've got Joseph back. Hang on a second. There we are. Joseph's seed returns. The prophecy. Okay. But hell had the white horse. Just replaying the end of Far Cry 5 here with the bomb going off. This is pretty good, actually. As much as I got tired of Far Cry 5, I think this is uh, it's pretty damn good. Oh, Joseph's word. Mission item. Like the Bible, basically. Yeah! There you go. Tip of the hat. We got it. Bonk, 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 bonk. Now run away. Now we've got the word of Joseph, we go and knock on the door to New Eden. Here we're presented to the leader... Ethan, Joseph's son. He sends us on our way to the very north to seek Joseph and return. A long boat ride up the river takes us straight to my doppelganger. Joseph says his normal religious statements to us and hands us a piece of fruit that can give us superpowers. We unlock a new set of skills, including a skill named Wrath, which allows us to punch Yogi Bear in the belly so hard the ragdoll effect begins. 
We return to New Eden with Joseph, to which he's now an ally and will help us rid of the twins, Mickey and Lou. Joseph's secret completed. Return to Eden trophy unlocked and we get the judge. Now apparently the judge is meant to be Rook from Far Cry 5, the character you play as, who at the end obviously got locked in a bunker with Joseph. Um, and this is uh, this is him. So we get to play, or we get to have the guy we played as. We continue getting more specialists, this time with Far Cry royalty, Herc, who wants us to help him rescue his car. Mm, it's Herc. Herc's back. Oh, hey, Migo. Hey, Migo. Let's talk to Herc. Far Cry legend. Oh my god, just mowing him down with this car. Thanks to the car and let it explode. He's sick of the car now. Now he's sick of it. All right, here we go. <laughs> we now have Herc and the gift horse we can get. We then kill a few guards guarding yet another specialist, Horatio. Pet Horatio. All right. Hey, big boy. Is it easy enough just to claim him now? Yeah, to love a ball. That was super quick. <laughs> just kill everyone around here, save your bacon, get a trophy, and we get a giant boar as a pet. We then attempt to headshot an enforcer with an armor-piercing shot. Boom! It's super effective! Yes! Headshot the enforcer with an armor-piercing bullet. And trying our luck trying to take a tier 3 base out undetected. Sniping enemies from a very far distance away was working out the best. Armor-piercing bullets were a lifesaver here as well. It ended up in a very, very surprising fashion. LOL! The dog blew the guy up! Dog's wearing a bomb. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Did Sam Fisher just do that undetected? Yeah, broken, forge, liberated, undetected. <laughs> You're a ninja. Love it. I love it. We then craft a legendary weapon for a nice easy trophy. Legend has it. Use our special leap of faith ability that allows an extra jump to save us from a fall of 50 meters or more. This grants a springboard. Classic Far Cry trophy here in an arrow kill from a certain distance. 100 meters on New Dawn for archery expert. Completing three treasure hunt missions not only gets you a load of goodies, but also the finder's keepers trophy. And our final specialist was Gina. Gina needs rescuing at a demolition race. Nice and easy, just take out anyone who gets in her way. And um, pow. Kill Gina's opponents. Pow. Nice. Need next to gun, I'm in. We got Gina. Close for applications as well. Recruit all guns for hire. We are done with the recruitment. Woohoo! The next major step of the story all changed together until the end. We're summoned to an area to find Mickey and Lou, where we discover they have Thomas Rush hostage again, punishing the scavengers and mainly us for messing with their operations. They decide to execute Mr. Rush and try to kill us too, of course. To which we use our One Piece Devil Fruit powers to throw Miss Biker Girl into the wall. But a big boy gun is our undoing, with Mickey and Lou shooting us out of a window. With that plan ended, we're hooked up with our next connection, Erwin. Erwin runs a highwayman underground fighting club to which we are entered to prove we have what it takes to become a highwayman. All the marbles, beat the champion. Okay, he's zip lining in, he's got a shield. Let's just hold. Bang. Yeah, no more shield, bitch. Now you're gonna get your ass kicked. Now you're getting your ass kicked. Boom! Lollipop wins. Erwin and us come to an understanding to which we need to get close to Mickey and Lou. He said there's a race at a demolition derby and the winner gets meeting with the twins. In order to get into the race, we must take out another driver. This driver so happens to be a guard at the local prison, to which we are now a prisoner. This section only lasts around 10 minutes and allows us to act how we're dressed, Sam Fisher style. Killing the bloke and escaping allows us to now enter the race. Upgrade medikits. Upgrade medikits. Stack them up. We got another trophy. Purchase the fifth tier of a stackable perk. You can never have enough. We've got a load of medikits now. Yeah, eliminated the opponents. That mission done. One of the demolition derby. Let's go. 
After we win the demolition derby, we're put in front of the twins, ready for us to take our shot. But a surprise happens. As upset with Joseph, Ethan comes to the twins to put an end to Joseph and his followers for what he believes is the betrayal of his father. The twins agree to take care of Ethan's problem and set off to New Eden immediately. We follow closely behind the twins, but are slightly late. New Eden has burned to the ground with everyone still in it. We're then finally confronted by Mickey and Lou and our battle with the villains begins. Come on, die, die. Ah, so much smoke. There's so much smoke. Ow, ow, there she is, there she is. She's gonna die, she's gonna die. Why can't it just ever be a, a straight fight? There you go. Snipe, 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 snipe. I'm gonna kick it to death. Ha! Superpowers, superpowers. Got my superpowers. Yes! The superpowers work. Get off, get off, dog. That, that fight was just so bizarre. Because you can't see anything. There's fire everywhere. You don't even have the pleasure of killing them. They do what I gotta do. Problem solver. Okay, we got the trophy problem solver. That's solved the biggest problem in Hope County by defeating the twins. Right, well, we defeated the twins. Okay, I guess I just leave, leave her there. Or should I kill her? Look away! After leaving the twins cuddled on the ground, we're back up the north. Ethan and Joseph's confrontation was not over. With Ethan in pain to the fact that Joseph gave us the devil fruit rather than him, because obviously our heart is pure and his, well, isn't. Eating the devil fruit without being pure transforms Ethan into what only can be described as a destructo bear. Holy crap. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of Ethan. Uh, okay. I'm so dead. I'm just dead, aren't I? I'm just so dead. I'm so dead. Yes, got him. I didn't die. Oh, that was a... That was an odd fight. <laughs> Ethan's soul fight. Okay. Well, we got him. It was better than the, uh, than the twins fight, to be fair. With Joseph comforting Ethan in his death, he turns to us realising that he wasn't God's shepherd all along. We were. He points our gun to his chest. Insert your tears. The end of Eden. It's popped. Decide the fate of the father. Now the game has been completed, it's time to clean up the remaining trophies. Okay, we're going to sneak up on these guys and then I'm going to do the double jump and hopefully hopefully take one out boom that was good right yeah hey father watch this that is for doing the double jump and landing on someone okay if we buy a final upgrade Eden's gift cha-ching percolate 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 yes Unlock the first level of all perks. We only just got that because of the Eden ones. Sorry, Cal. I think, I think you're the last one I need. Yes! The cattle was the last one. Master Skinner. Skin every single animal in the game. 25. Yeah, we got it. Largemouth bass. You're a catch. The last one I was missing. Thought I had it, but I didn't. Okay, this is the last MP3 player. Get that snake off me. So many snakes. Pick the lock to get in the door. Come on, let's get that MP3. Come on. Audio file completed. Yes, there it is. Audio file. Thank God for that. I was, I was panicking there. Okay, and we just got audio file, but now we're going to get the last photo done hold up the photo a thousand words completed come on yeah silver trophy before do all nine photos killing 10 enemies whilst our wrath ability is active grants us a trophy normally you would do this with chain takedowns as it can refresh the ability but i struggled so hard with that and decided to use an attack chopper yes we got it anger management Woo! 
kill 10 people while using the uh, the Eden power. That is uh, that's bloody difficult. Boom! That was easy. That was easy. Level 3. I think that's the final one as my Rainbow Six Vegas looking character. All your bases. Come on! One more trophy to get and we're going to go get it right now. Okay, upgrade the healing garden. He's level 3. Upgrade the cartography. Up to level 3. My little fortress for upgrading all of prosperity maximum. And Conqueror. Come on. All the Far Cry Platinums now with New Dawn done. Happy days. Come on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Finally got around to playing New Dawn, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider watching another video like the ones you see on screen, subscribing to the channel, and liking the video, of course. Until next time, guys, see ya.